My name is Samantha Ohl and you're watching Erie Extreme. Three, it's Dave, Terry, uh -huh. and Nate. How are you? Fantastic. It's a beautiful morning, isn't it? Is this us right here? Yes. Yes! Three, you're high maintenance. You don't think there's a restroom at the place? Yeah, but it's not yeah. good enough for you. I don't want to hear you complaining all day. We're taking you to a clean place. You can just go in the water like everyone else. This is a really clean restaurant here. There's only been about five million butts on this toilet seat. So you should be good. Yeah. Fair run right here. There's a launch over right over there to the left. That's where we're going. We should be fishing right now. Foggy, you know? Okay, so here's the lowdown. Last week was my first time in a kayak thanks to my new buddy, Noah Hack. Now, I'm an expert already. You know when the last time I was here? 20 years ago, literally. I'm gonna go get the reel. Let's see if the oranges match. Looks like a perfect match. Looks good, don't it? Yeah. So Noah talked me into fishing a kayak tournament. The gang from Fishing Online paid my entry fee, and a brand new company called Bonafide Kayaks supplied a boat for me to fish out of. It's coming together nicely. The tournament's already started, and thanks to Bree's bladder, we're late. I heard you were an expert kayaker. <laughs> yeah. That's what I, Yeah. like class three, class four, something like that. Are there classes? The first time I went, I was with Nate, mm -hmm. and, and I said, I will drown if I fall in. And he, so he gave me like a really wide kayak, and I couldn't, you know, I was like, man, these things don't paddle very well. Yeah. That's why, because it's wider? Yeah. Well, the good news is that I don't think you can flip this boat, so. That is very good news. <laughs> I'm going right where, the last time I was here, I won a tournament. We're gonna go right back there and see if they're still there. Actually, those fish are all, every fish that was in this lake when I fished it last time is dead. 528. Hmm. Okay, we're good. So all you need to do is figure out how to get there from here. Believe it or not, when I'm traveling all over the country, this is the number one question I get asked. What are those poles on the back of your boat? Well, they got these little tiny ones that go on kayaks. And all you do, push the button. Well, looks like it's finally go time. I'm excited. I mean, it's been a long time since I fished Lake Arthur, but I've never fished this end of the lake, so we're heading south, north. That way. You know where we're going, Captain? Roughly, straight that way. Straight that way until we hit land. What a beautiful That's morning. Long. I'm excited. Yeah. I'm taking this seriously. We got a long ride in the 528 boat launch. It's a beautiful morning, but all I can think about, do I have the right baits tied on? Am I going to the right spots? Where do I start? And should I stand up and fish? I promised Noah I would. So needless to say, this super long boat ride is making me nervous. It's making me think way too much. Uh-oh. Oh, look. Waves crashing on the kayak. Big waves. Tiny boat. Soothing. I'm Hans Newtz. I'm the product designer at Bonafide Kayaks. And uh, we're getting ready to get on the lake and go fishing. One of the focuses of this boat was really how to, you know, we wanted to make the most fishable kayak that we could. And that includes having a lot of stability, having a great seat position, and making all of the gear storage just so that it's right where you need it to be. Obviously, with kayak fishing, you're, you're very limited with what you can bring with you. We've designed these hinges so that the hatch can open from either side. So now you can open Man, it this that's way. Cool. I mean, this boat was really designed around being able to stand and cast, stand and fish, so it starts to feel you know, a lot like a bigger boat. Got wow, it. look at that. I've got the side scan transducer on that. <laughs> That's so, like high tech right It there. is. That's the same thing I got on my boat. There are actually three positions where you can mount a micro anchor to the back of this boat. You know, if you've been fishing for 30 years and you think you want to get into kayak fishing, 
this is also a great boat for you. Recreationally, I mean, it's got lots of stability, so you're going to be able to cruise around. And so enjoy it's a good yourself. boat for somebody that's a little bit afraid of water, too. Yes. Yeah. If, if you're a little bit afraid like of, me. of that uh, that flip over effect that seems to hit people from time to time, yeah, yeah. You, you may want to look at one of these. Perfect. Um, but I noticed that you took my net. Yeah. Well, I don't think you're going to need it. <laughs> oh, it's begun. Now what? Let's get out in them. Jeez, Nate. I have to test the limits of this well, thing. Yeah. So. And I have to do it in six inches of water. Let me get out there and I'll, I'll help Dude, you. Dude, yeah, okay, direct little, me. I'm not going to say nothing. Here. Put you on the side. Yep. I want it out. You want to get. Like. The, uh, best thing to do is um, when you're getting in and out of the boat, hold your paddle with one hand. It'll give you balance. Okay. I'm, what I'm curious about is when I get a big one by the boat, yeah, I, I lose bodily control. The other thing you can do, he's point. He, you gotta watch him. Can you watch him to make sure the camera's not pointed up at the geese? It's, There's water's gonna come in before I flip. Yeah, that's, that's right. my. That's so right. that's what I want to try to avoid letting water. In. But Dave, you're gonna panic and fall out before you. Flip. That's what I'm fearing. So let's do this. Maybe I should wear a vest instead of this thing. This thing goes poof like that, and you no, look like no, no. This, 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 this is auto manual, it's so manual. you actually have to pull. Back. No, I can't think that fast. I will be dead. See, I told you he would want it auto. Just float him out just a, a hair. Wait, okay. I don't have my. <laughs> I'm so vulnerable right now. I, you're ba you're in bathtub depth, so we're good. Now I, I got really good balance. Okay. Believe it or not. Yeah. Okay. So they're treating me like a child. All right, now hold the paddle. But holding the paddle always that helps. There you go. I guess maybe I'm kind of acting like one. You can hold it across, but just just let the boat, just tilt the boat a little bit. Just let it let it go. <gasps> yeah, oh gosh, go. I'm I'm really worried about all just this. Just keep rocking the boat back and forth. You'll get a feel for it. So what happens is is the boat, the boat capacity will push back at at a certain point. So you can let it tip. It's going to push back. Okay. Season two of Very Extreme is presented by Marquette Savings Bank, Fast Signs, We Create, The Avonia Tavern, FishingOnline.com, Bentley Tree Care, East End Angler, Palmero Toyota, The Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission, and by Visit Erie. Oh my there we go. gosh! There we go. I got you. Oh man! Hey, there you go. just so you guys know, Lake Arthur is no wake today. You got to go slow. <laughs> I gotta ask, can you really not swim? Um, my wife thinks I probably could. Dude, this is on the verge of embarrassment. I know. There's nothing I can do about it. Is this actually going on TV? You and I are friends now, by the way, Dave. Just <laughs> me. <laughs> okay. This is awesome. Do you have to go potty before we go? It's got everything but a sink. And landing the fish, well, we'll talk about that when, uh, when we get to it. You like I can think when that's happening. Lawrence supplied a unit for my kayak. It's a touch screen. And trust me, a little familiarity is comforting. We're gonna go with English. So nothing can fall out or break. There he is again. Look, here he comes. <laughs> I can already visualize the music that's gonna go behind that footage. <laughs> He's not feeling it just yet. He will. Oh, oh, I see what you you're see saying. It? In the tunnel. Yeah. Stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, it's right there. Unless you're stopping it. Yeah, that's incredibly cool. I didn't hear you say that before. It stops. It just stops. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ready? I'm so going to lose. How's that feel? It feels pretty good. The only thing I'm worried about is like the adrenaline, the first bite I get. Yes. Setting the hook. Ah, uh, Seth is on my spot again. I'll tell you what. Noah would be proud. We're gonna start on the first cast. Still getting the feel for everything. There's the power pole going down. Man, this is cool. Okay, first cast, clock starts now. It's 9.30. The only reason I'm starting here is because the last time I fished here, we weighed in right there and I came back and had four minutes left to fish. We caught all our fish way back there, but I caught a four pounder in these bushes with like two minutes to go. I can already tell that it would have been nice for me to put a power pole on this one too. Yeah, it's such an unbelievable advantage. It really is. Man, it's hard to fish sitting down. I'm just a little nervous to get a bite standing up because I don't know what I'll do. At 6.30 this morning, somebody had 45, 46 inches with three fish. That's ridiculous. Wow. That ain't even true. He cheated. 
So where do you want to go? Um, there was a really good patch of lily pads back there in the back. We caught 30 fish out of the last time I was here. Do you think that's stupid to go that far? Um, so how far back was the, were the <laughs> All the way in the back. <laughs> Is that too far? That's a haul. Feels good. I, I mean, you can tell. I, I, I fished all day out of that one Noah gave me. It was nowhere near the stable, even sitting down. Hey, Nate, are those kayaks way up there on the right? So there's guys already in here fishing. Yeah. We're gonna just start right here. Man, the light is awesome right now. It's perfect. Everything is looking good, just like I remember it like 20 years ago. So this brings back a lot of memories, you know? All the guys I used to fish against, um, the good old days. Everything looks so good. I mean, I'm expecting a bite on any cast. Oh my gosh, did you get that? And there it was, gone. That was a big one too. That was a big one. I need another chance, please bite it again. When you get a frog bite like that, you gotta be ready to throw something back in there as quick as you possibly can. And I, my rods are behind me. Hans, I had a bite. Oh look, he's got one. Got a little guy. Not a keeper though. Hey, I'm on the board. That's two bites already in the first two minutes. It's a little one but a good sign. Got one. Oh yeah. It's happening. Come on, baby. Get us on the board. Yeah. Oh, there's not very much room to swing these suckers in. I wanna just check. Okay, so it's not even a keeper. So inches don't count unless they're 12, or does that count? Anybody know? Boy, it'd be awesome if we knew the rules. You legally can't put that fish in your live well, but you can measure it legally. Hans, we're gonna catch some in here. Oh yeah. It's funny, but it actually looks exactly like it did the last time I was here. <laughs> Cloudy weather feels good, but it ain't good for doing this. Terry, who are you rooting for, me or Noah? For you, dude. This is where the creek channel comes in. See the little path right through there? So when we won that tournament, we caught most of our fish like from out, out in there all the way into these lily pads. They were just kind of relating to that deeper little ditch right there. So like where I just threw, I should have got a bite. It's like a bad sign. Did I expect the bass to still be here after 20 years? I should have called one of my buddies that fishes here every day. So what's, so far, what's the hardest thing about kayak fishing? It's the boat position. In my boat, everything's perfectly controlled and I know exactly what's gonna happen. This is like, you gotta deal with whatever position yeah. you happen to be in. It's never perfect. It's constantly moving. Yeah. There. Nate, watch this one. Come on, fish. Dang, that was a big one. Missed another one. Holy cow. Story of my life. I'm gonna try standing up. Just gotta not think about it. This is for you, Noah. Yeah, there ain't no way I can set the hook and stay in this boat. No way. I hope I do not get a bite. Can you tell how shaky I am? <laughs> it doesn't look bad, really. Really? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's normal when you're casting. Your boat's gonna rock around a little bit. How's it feel? It feels good. That's what we need, the sun to pop out. Yeah, this is nice. How much time do we have? That didn't take long. I'm starting to feel comfortable standing already. So much grass in here. I'm feeling good. I'm getting cocky now. Even though our time is half over, I feel like I can win, or at least beat Noah. The coolest thing about these kayak anglers tournaments is you're able to keep track of everybody's weights. So all I have to do is ask Terry, Nate, and Bree how Noah's doing, right? Well, I gotta catch to beat Noah. Nobody told me. No idea. I wanna know how, many, how much he has. No clue. I might be able to beat him with one fish. Couldn't tell you. Maybe he's only got 20 inches. No idea. I'm, I'm thinking we need to do something different. Uh-oh. Okay, here's my first. <laughs> oh, man. That's one thing you don't want to do is look up at the sky. Uh, where's John when you need him? Uh-oh. Yeah, I can't look up that way. How am I going to do this? I better sit down. Just when I was feeling good, Started to get cocky with too many rods up here. Okay, we're back. Ooh, see that one? Wow. <laughs> get ready, Nate, because if this one bites it, I'm going in. <laughs> At this angle, there ain't no way. That's where he was, right there. 
I guarantee you, once you stand up, you don't want to sit down anymore. You got that right. That was the worst breakfast sandwich I've ever had. If I get a bite casting like that, I will fall in. So I got to throw that away. Since the pads got thick, we haven't had a bite. Let's go win this thing. How much time we got, girls? 22 minutes. How many? Why can't we ever go out and just slam them one time? I can't believe I'm not doing better. You know, my middle name is Arthur. Ten minutes. Honestly, I mean, for just being in the boat for a couple hours, he's he's got the hang of it. I mean, he's been back and forth across this uh, this channel a couple times. It's a testament to the fact that we got the stability and just getting a new a new paddler into our boat. Um, he's doing great. I, I love the fact that he's doing that well. I felt like it, at the beginning, if I could just get him to sort of feel the outward stability, he'd he'd be fine. And I mean, we were back in those oily pads, and he was standing up and you know making some nice casts so um, yeah I mean the boat suits him well he's got the, he likes the high seat so um, I think he's good to go he just left me in the dust I gotta go catch up to him Aw, those were some really sweet words from Hans but the roses didn't last long so we started this out I think um, I think I was telling Dave I was gonna beat him and uh, right now it's still looking that way Two to one means nothing really because they have to be over 12 inches to keep and that looked like a minnow to me from what I could see. So, not to mention I lost that big one at the boat when we were at a commercial break. According to my calculations, I got three minutes, 51 seconds. Bray, you even beat me, didn't you? I wish we had six more hours like everybody else. That would be nice. Look at this, we got one going. Nice. Hans is hooked up. That's a good one too, man. Uh, I might be, I might be have a light drag. <laughs> no, that's a keeper though, isn't it? Yeah. Right at the buzzer. Oh, oh yeah. That's a keeper. There it is, scorable bass. But unfortunately, oh, we got us a two minute landing violation. That one <laughs> won't count. That was cool, you know how much time we have? Minus 28 seconds. <laughs> so unfortunately, that one's that not gonna cool. count. Bummer. How good are you at un getting a hook out of the gullet? If you let me hook him on my line and reel him in like I caught him, I'm really good at it. <laughs> and I'm just kidding. How about I just pass you the rod? <laughs> <laughs> so Hans caught a fish. They're going to show us how, what they do in these kayak tournaments as far as getting it to count on your score. In bass tournaments, we throw them in a live well and go weigh them in. They do it differently here. So you've got to have the fish on the hog trough, the mouth open, with the lip touching the left end, and you have the fishing tournament card in the photo, and you take the photo with your phone. Hmm. So if yeah, he flops don't... in the water, you're yeah. done. Yeah, that's right. Well. So now we're going to go catch a fish. Fishing portion is over. <laughs> I failed miserably. I'll tell you what, though. That was clutch. Yeah, right there at the, at the end. We don't catch fish half the time we do this. So if you catch one, it's kind of like a bonus. Well, good. I'm, I'm right at home with the, uh, the, the non-fishing fishing shows. Yeah, we cater to the old ladies. But that was fun. Yeah. Uh, so this is one of the closest lakes to uh, our shop, and that's why we're really going big on this lake and sponsoring this tournament series. And that's why we got Dave out here. Two years ago, I won this tournament. Last year, placed uh, top eight, I believe. And this year, I only caught one little one, but still, it was bigger than his. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> That was uncalled for, but I think I know why he was being so mean. Look at, go. look at Seth. Okay, let's go. I'm ready. Let's do it. Do you have a, like a weighted Senko I can throw for a minute up yeah, on? Yeah, huh? I was wondering, I've seen a red rod on what? yours, and I'm like, oh, that looks kind of like mine. What are you I talking about? <laughs> I saw it. I wasn't saying anything. <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> well, I thought maybe they got tangled and I lost them. I <laughs> know, he was totally robbing your rods. <laughs> you don't need this, do you? I say we check and see if these cute rod floats actually work. <laughs> you need this one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it going to float? Are they, all, they always float, right? What do you know? They work. <laughs> I almost They <laughs> always float, right? <laughs> that really backfired. Come get your rods before I throw them all in. I'd like to take these out in the four footers and see what happens. You hook something on Lake Erie, you're likely to go for a sleigh ride. I need to hook nope. something big that'll pull me around. 
I think once people do this, I mean, it's just so much easier, you know? It's exciting, yeah. This boat is going to be more feature rich um, and have a better price than most of our competitors. Oh, yeah, bud. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna fish these pads right here and try to get lucky and catch one. I feel like I'm gonna catch one here. What's that? I honestly think I'm gonna catch one. <laughs> I got that feeling. Got one. Oh, there it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta admit, and it's a keeper. Jack and a fish awesome. like that standing up in a kayak was sweet. <laughs> okay, I gotta remember how to do it. Do though. you have your card? Yeah, he said I do, but I don't know where. What, do you, what are you getting? The identifier. <laughs> Sounds official. So I finally caught a fish. We said we were gonna fish for three hours and we only fished for two. There's the tail, 22 inches. Oops, I should, I gotta what? crop that a little better. <laughs> he seems to know what we're doing. Yeah. There we go. Thank you. There he goes. Did I all of a sudden pass both of you cocky guys? Oh, you tied, man. What did you have? 12 Mine was bigger. Nope. I was 12 and 3 quarters. No, it wasn't. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yes. Mine was 12 Oh, yeah. Quarters. I remember clearly. I got the photo for that. Wow. So I'm guaranteed not to come in last. Awesome. Thanks, Dave. Oh, man. That was great. That was a lot of fun. Don't have to thank me. I do this every day. <laughs> we had some fun with Seth today. Um, you know, he got on my nerves a little bit, fishing my spots and stuff, but that doesn't mean we want him to get involved in a boating accident. So we're headed back to the kayak anglers meeting location. All the guys are coming to check in and the first person we see, Noah. And no, I didn't beat him. This sport is really taking off. There was almost a hundred kayaks in this tournament today. And this is the first time that anyone's ever seen the new Bonafide. So everyone's getting a chance to test them out. And even Nate got a turn. Uh, it was an honor to be here uh, with Bonafide. That's the first time I was in the boat. It's an awesome machine. I'm real excited about it. Congratulations to everybody who, who came and supported a really good cause. That's awesome. Thank you, Dave. Yep. What a great day. And I think I got a new hobby. That was a great day. Meet the McWhittle sisters, retired homemakers, aspiring taste testers. This week, the ladies will be sampling our Mile High Meatloaf, served on a bed of veggies, topped with a mountain of mashed potatoes, gravy, and onion straws. Let's see what they think. That was excellent. That was so good, wasn't it, Agnes? That was just glorious. Oh, what do you think? The Mile High Meatloaf. Gigi, what's that, honey? Did you like the meatloaf? The, oh, the meatloaf? What's <laughs> Mile High Meatloaf mean anyway? Really juicy. You're pulling my hair. What you making? What's that, honey? What you making? Oh, I'm making an Afghan. Afghanistan? I so enjoyed the veggies. It was on that bed of vegetables. Did you see how bright red they were? Yes, they were delicious. What did you think, Agnes? I'm Agnes. I'm oh, sorry. Agnes. Agnes. What do you think of the veggies? <laughs> the bed of veggies? Why do you talk so loud? Remember when we were little girls? The garden. Oh, yeah. Do you remember? Yes, that was glorious. Would you look at that? There's nothing there. I've had all kinds of onion, but I never had straws. Gigi, what's that? Honey? Onion straws, straws, onions. I've had all kinds of onions, but never the straws. Oh my! Out of my truck, Dottie. What did you get a service at the Avonia Tavern? It was too loud. No, the the service at the Avonia Tavern. Oh, would you quit pointing this at me? I'm sorry, sweetie. Why is she always got to be using that pencil? She, she is so dangerous. You almost done with that? The, the boy was, Watch the pencil. So sorry, Daddy. That's but, a bad habit. I'm knitting. Every time I was thirsty, there was like water there. Every time. Didn't even have to ask. McWhittle sister approved. Sample this and other great food at the Avonia Tavern, 7321 Westlake Road in Fairview, PA. <laughs> what? Are you serious? <laughs> to keep up with Erie Extreme, like us and subscribe.